the human race has pushed through the skies and touched outer space. But how on earth did we actually get off Earth? This episode of Test Tube 101 is brought to you by the United States Air Force. Rockets work on Newton's third law. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So when we launch a rocket into space, we're igniting a rich explosive fuel that in reaction, burns up and creates propulsion. That's the lift pushing you up. And we need to use a lot of fuel to get up there. The NASA Space Shuttle uses over 800,000 gallons of liquid propellants to get it into space. Most of that fuel is burned up in the first few minutes as rockets must achieve something called escape velocity. That would be a speed of 25,000 miles per hour or more just to reach outer space. Better get going. Escape velocity is not really about getting going really fast. Like the name implies, it's all about trying to escape the gravitational pull of Earth. We should actually call this escape the Earth speed. You see, the gravitational pull of Earth becomes less and less powerful the higher into the atmosphere you go. Even when you see those astronauts floating around the space station, they're technically still being affected by Earth's gravity as the space station is being pulled around in orbit. This episode of Test Tube 101 is brought to you by the United States Air Force and the United States Airmen, who go above and beyond to break barriers both professionally and personally every day. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, you may also like this one about parachutes, which actually work on gravitational force as well. Terminal velocity occurs once the sum of the drag force and buoyancy equals the downward force of gravity acting on the object. 